there everyone and welcome to another battle series this one about the Mahd the Mahdist uprising in Sudan in 1883 we're gonna start off with the battle of Obey El Obeid and uh, my army is here is controlled by um, um, Pasha Hicks now to explain a little bit about the the Mahdist rebellion. Actually, we might as well bring in Rotislav. He's dying to introduce himself. Hello, everyone. I'm back again. Back again to help me here do some multiplayer. Uh, we were actually hoping to do the Anglo Sula one, because but because of a bug that doesn't allow you to actually start multiplayer either in just normal or um, hosted by LAN. We're gonna do this one. It's made within the same mod and it actually works. So we're gonna do the Mardis Rebellion. Maybe not as well known to most people as the uh, Sulu War uh, deal, but I think you'll pi hopefully find it uh, plenty enjoyable. So what we basically can say, we had a bit of fun about the Mardi earlier when we were talking about the history behind this, but basically the Mahdi sees himself sort of as a the reborn prophet of Muhammad if I get it correctly. Yeah, sort of. Sort of a holy warrior. Yeah, he he supposedly of the Muslim faith. Yeah, he get he gets a dream where he's visited by both Jesus and Muhammad and they tell him to God knows what but um some stuff and he starts leading this sort of uh um Muslim uprising here to uh, throw off the British rule, I believe. Yeah. Um, it was controlled by the British Empire at this time. And uh, uh, we can talk a bit about... We were contemplating doing the absolute first sort of action, but it was so small that we felt that um, we we jump that bit and go straight on to this bigger battle here. And... Uh, Basically, forces are sent out um, to check this guy, uh, claiming himself to be the Mahdi, uh, because he was not. It was. It wasn't really legal for him to claim that title uh, willy-nilly, and it, of course, uh, upset the local government. Uh, when someone takes on such such a title, it can only mean so many things when someone. Uh, does such a thing so um, they were not happy with it so they sent out a patrol to deal with him uh, but they were uh, attacked by the Mahdi's supporters and they were forced off and so they say uh, they send this larger force of about 10,000 men down to uh, help out or uh, you know keep control of the area unfortunately they this force here uh, lost their scouts or the guides on the way and they sort of lost their way and they get surrounded by the Mahdist army it doesn't help as well that this um, force is very untrained very undisciplined and uh, in the actual battle quite a lot of them ran um, but part of their square is I believe to, to it was reported in British newspapers anyways that they held for uh, two days before breaking up um, yeah I don't know if you've got anything to add on to this Mahdi yes what I can say is um, this guy Hicks Pasha he's quite an experienced sort of colonial fighter so he thought this this battle would be a piece of cake, and that's why he neglected his Egyptian soldiers. Uh, so it, there weren't r any real cooperation between the Egyptians and the British at this point, uh, which is a big part of the the reason they fail here. And also, it's quite interesting because at this time, e Egypt was colonizing Sudan and. Uh, Egypt was also a British protectorate, so the British went directly involved, although they sort of rented out 
lots of officers to the actual Egyptian army. And a big reason that this uprising got out of hand was because uh, the British government was so reluctant to actually put British troops into action. And that is one of the reasons why Yon only fields Egyptian troops now. Yeah, these Sudan fella units, as you can see right here. Um, yeah, uh, also, some curiosities here with the mod. Uh, we actually got some machine guns here. Early machine guns that we've stayed, that I've put down. I, They got uh, quite a few of them. They got, as I recall, 14 cannons with them. And then maybe a handful of machine guns here but I've chosen to field only one and then we've got cannons over here and um, I instead of fielding uh, um, Hicks Pasha I've uh, used a similar general unit so we got Gordon Pasha here but it's not actually uh, Chinese Gordon um, it wasn't actually present at this battle but anyways I think we're we're about ready to go ahead and start this, aren't we? Yes, we are. And here comes the fanatical people. Stand ready! Alright then. Yes, sir. Alright then. Nobody no one... told you to stop working. No <laughs> Nobody told you to stop working. As Indeed sound... they did not. The sound of British artillery. Firing away at the Mahadi's warriors as they approach. But I'm surrounded by all sides, and they were outnumbered quite uh, a lot. The estimation is that there were 40,000 Mahadi's warriors compared with my force um, of about 10,000 in total. Although that uh, that added on with uh, also added on to my ten thousand is two thousand camp followers that follows the army. Fire the gun. We're putting down a lot of good fire right here towards this u these units, but we got quite a bit of troops coming from all around here. My best bet is the fact that it, he's actually mistimed his attack, and they will come in waves. This, however, is probably one of the most uh, dangerous area. We got a lot of um, melee. Uh, infantry and then we got these camel guys and we got the actual Mahdi riding in the back there uh, I've chosen to station this machine gun here and I think we're gonna extend the line here so we can actually break the square um, and I think we're gonna do similar on the other side And then I'm not actually sure if I should wield this one. Ah, these these the, these guys are actually attacking. So let's wield this line to face the enemy. And then I think it's time to switch to canister. Canister shot, sir. The Mahdi's troops are charging. Give them what for? Ready? Hold steady. Steady. Oh crap. I forgot to put fire at will on. They've charged in. Ooh, we're holding good on this side. So far. Get that machine gun going! Fire! 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 
Hold the line! Hold the line! Hold the line, god damn you! We're breaking over there. Retreat the general to safety. Form square! Form square! Form to square! Save the general! Hold the square! Hold the square! Do it up. Where did he go, man? No, my other squares have been taken over. And I reckon that was that which Pasha hits. Hold the square! Hold the square! To the standard! No! We are broken! See? There you went. Out the window. Out the window that army went. It says close to feet though. I did some pretty nice volleys, but I since we had uh, turned I had turned off the fire at will option for us moving around. Uh they didn't fire they probably could have got a few volleys more, but Yeah. I lost almost my entire force. There's only a hundred men that actually got away. Uh, but we still managed to get about, uh, what did we get, 1,700 uh, of your troops. But that still leaves uh, 3,000 uh, men to fight. But it is a good battle. Yeah, I and, thought it was quite uh, accurate, actually. Yeah, of how they sort of come crashing in. Yeah, because at first you could shoot, you should actually push them out at the first time but then we just swept in and yeah were simply too many for you to handle yeah there was so many Mahdis coming from all but we actually I saw over I never was able to go close um, but there on the my um, my left through the that p mountain pass you had some of those spearmen charging in first and we managed to uh. get quite good wallies on off on them yeah, and the spearmen, they were actually quite iconic, those with the big hairdos. And they were called, during the time, Fussy Wussies. I don't Fuzzy think that, that's one of that's one of the words you can't say today in England yeah, no more. That, 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 you, yeah, you can't say that anymore. Uh, not that anyone would... Oh, I can actually see the Mahdi over here. But the Fussy Wussies. I believe, didn't uh, the, the... I think the British... They had sort of, um, they did have like, uh, they had a doll also called something like that, didn't they? Or was yeah, that I someone so. else? I don't know. It, it's dolls. Yeah. No, it was, um, I, I can't remember. There was someone who told me something about it. It was racist anyways. Similar to Fuzzy Wuzzies. <laughs> 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 anyways. Uh, we had this battle and uh, yeah, we'll continue on with this series since we couldn't do the Anglo Sulu one because of the the inherent problem with the mod, but yeah uh, Hopefully you enjoyed this and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye